today's video, I want to talk to you about sales. Yes, sales, sales, sales. What comes up when I say the word sales? You know, when I was growing up, my first experience of selling was my dad asking me to go and ask people if they wanted help in our record store. I was terrified. I made every excuse not to go out and approach people. I would go out the back of our shop, make coffees, wipe up, clean up everything, plaster records, anything to avoid actually talking to people. My dad always taught me to look up records and give more help to people, anyone that came in. And I really wish that I understood what he taught me back then because it took me thousands of dollars and lots of training to undo my old beliefs around selling. I had the old belief that selling was bad and pushy. No matter what my dad said, I had this old belief and it, no matter what I did, it was there. This continued throughout my career and even negotiating with people as a music video director, I really needed that sales training back then. Fast forward many years and I've done some insane things to get over my sales fear. Things like getting a job as a salesperson with my own car. I used to be so freaked out about going in to see people, I'd park outside for hours. But when I did make my first phone call, I made a 50k sale. So without being able to talk to people, without being able to share what the benefits are with potential clients, without being able to put calls to action on your videos or sharing what you can do for people, you aren't going to get the results that you really want. Sales are the lifeblood of your business and I wanted to share with you this one thing that's really powerful. If you can share with a potential client what the cost is to them of not doing what you have, they will see the value. A perfect example is if you're a fitness coach, if you're someone that is helping somebody be fit and they're feeling crap and spending every day feeling bad about themselves, what is this costing somebody in their life? They aren't doing what they want, they're not living a life they really want, they're not happy, they're missing out on opportunities. What is it really costing them? So the biggest thing that I want you to take away and remember is number one, what is it costing them not having your services in their business? What is it costing you by not actually taking on being a sales expert and trying that on and just being able to help people, that's what sales really is. It's a disguise and it's a word for helping people. And that's what we all do, we all help each other. So now it's time to put that sales belief behind you and start focusing on the results you want. See ya.